I was born in Blackshell, Blackshell, Georgia, uh, about 10 miles out of Waycross. I was living uh, two lives. I was living fast, and then at the same time, I was, you know, got my other leg in the door with the Lord. And it really caught up with me. From day one, when I broke my neck, I was in the car, and I knew I wasn't going to walk again. I already, I already knew it. I knew I, I knew I was paralyzed. And I was still in the car, and I basically had to get cut out the car because like, they couldn't just, you know, get me out. And basically how I knew I was paralyzed, my, my head was just hanging down, down there to my neighbor. It was just hanging. And I remember the, the ambulance, uh, the guy got out of the truck and he left my head back up and it was just bone scrubbing on top of a bone and it was it was real painful. I can remember laying in the hospital up at Sean, Shepherd's Spine or something. And I, I remember asking God to help me with all the things that I'm gonna need help with, emotionally, spiritually, physically. And I remember asking God one thing, you know, not to let me take my anger out on no one. Because I know the situation I was in, you know, but it was because of I was disobeying God. It was because of I wouldn't, you know, I heard his voice, but I didn't pay attention to it. And I did when I did things, you know, that Richard wanted to do instead of doing what God wanted me to do. And one day y'all was just out uh, doing community, you know, up at Farms Apartments, you know, uh, helping people. For y'all, matter of fact, y'all was just out helping people, and they called for talk. You were helping fix cars, and and my, my one of my caregivers said, "It's a lot of people's out here," and next thing you know, somebody knocked on my door, and if I'm not mistaken, it was his brother right here, Amber, and I remember Amber prayed for me right out in the front, in my front door. And ever since that day, we kept in contact, me and her. And next thing you know, she said, you want to go to church? <laughs> and I said, uh, let me think about that one right there. That was a pastor I, I, I fully had my trust in, and it was portrayed and by uh, a couple of other members and high ranks in the church, it was betrayed, and things were going on behind my back that I didn't know. Matter of fact, be honest with you, I had it, you know, that spirit in me to trust a pastor again, or mothers in the church, or deacons in the church. I just, I just gave up, and she kept at it and kept at it. So she said, "I'm coming, out, I'm coming to get you for church." But I didn't want to turn it down. I said, "Okay, I'm, I'm going." She said, "You're gonna like it." And I said, oh, "All right." So I got up there, got got the heritage, and man, fell in love with it from day one. And I ain't looked back since then. I never would have, you know, been to heritage if y'all would have never came out that day, uh, communicating with peoples and uh, helping people that particular day, and and God using Ember to keep on praying for me and the way she kept doing, and and basically she just kept coming by all the time and would never give up on me. Really, Richard says that I, you know, bless him, but. My life has totally changed since that day in the way that I listen to the Lord and the way that He speaks to me. And um, I just had an immediate love for Richard that was unexplainable. Um, I went home and I told my husband about him and I put his name on my refrigerator and he just didn't realize what the Lord had done in me using him. I've been redeemed again and God, you know, opened my spirit and my heart up again and started trusting again. And, you know, to be honest, which I didn't think I was going to, you know, be able to do that again. And now, you know, I fell in love with heritage and, you know, I, basically I can't stay away from it. I would encourage the Tennessee students to keep doing what they're doing because uh, what they're doing, they're changing lives, whether they even realize it or not. And I would encourage them to continue to, to walk in the Lord and only keep their eyes on the Lord because people's a human and they make mistakes. But if you keep your eyes on the Lord, everything will be all right and you'll understand the mistakes that people make. So that's what I would encourage them. Take me to the water. Take me to the water. I want to go down to the water. Take me to the water. To be baptized. To be
with my whole heart I love him. Oh.